After the departure of Paulinho, Marco Silva has a very difficult task to remain in the Premier League with this Fulham squad, but he received over 100 million as a budget and with all of the transfer rumors about Emil Smith, Rowe and Scott McTominay joining a Fulham, I do believe we do have a good chance of turning Fulham into one of the best teams in the world. So if you enjoyed this type of videos, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, but now let's dive into the Fulham review. After spending over 40 million on Emil Smith, Rowe and Scott McTominay. This is how the Fulham squad is looking and we still do have a lot of work to do if we want to achieve something with these boys. But there is one guy that is currently on loan at the club. This is Armando Broa and I'm definitely gonna aim to sign him in this first season. We do have around 50 million left to improve that team and for only 10 million we secure Armando Broa. This is a very good deal in my opinion. But now we do have around 35 million million to still improve that team and i'm thinking about signing a good and young defender with a lot of potential currently we do have diop who is 77 overall but he's 26 years of age he has 64 of pace and i'm not that excited of using him and also we do have basi who is 75 overall he's 23 years of age he has much much more potential than diop but i still man i want this world class center back that can actually help us remain in the premier league and we got hidden Mengi from Luton. He's also linked with a move to Fulham. He's 72 overall, has some nice potential, and I think he's gonna be a good fit for this uh, squad. Then with the rest of the money, we went and signed Silas from Stuttgart. He's gonna be the backup of Wilson, and I'm super excited to see how he's gonna develop, man. He has 90 pace, which is awesome. He's, of course, 24 years of age. Not that much potential he has, but still, this is Silas. Now, before starting simulating we're gonna choose counter attack as our tactical vision i really hope that the boys can remain in the premier league so let's find out what's gonna happen in the first season and we had a fantastic first season we finished 10th with 52 points but we conceded 62 goals man and this is definitely not looking good we're one of the worst defenses in the premier league good that we scored 64 goals but we definitely need to upgrade the defense in the upcoming season overall the team is developing really well emil smith row is now 82 overall he is very happy at a form and i expected that man we gave him all of the playing time that he wants scott mctominy he is now 81 overall burnt leno is 83 he's our highest overall player and I really hope that he can remain at least a couple more seasons at full but look who our top goal scorer is scott mctominy the scottish a gold he scored 14 goals and assisted two times also a very solid season from Emil Smith throw 13 goals and 5 assists is a brilliant also Silas man he played 27 games he scored 9 goals assisted 6 times not a bad first season Amando Broa 7 goals 2 assists I expected more from our strikers but maybe in the next couple of seasons they're gonna perform better we received over 70 million to continue improving that team and I'm gonna bring only 3 new signings in the second season this is gonna be a better left winger than Alex Iwobi he just didn't perform that well in the first season I think it just feel right for us to sign someone that is younger and better than Iwobi after that we're gonna bring Ryan Sessignon because he is heavily linked with a move to Fulham in real world he even played for Fulham back then so it just feel right for us to bring him to this uh, club and then we're gonna go for a new midfielder someone that is better than Lukic he has 59 pace for god's sake man we need someone that is faster and better than Lukic and this midfielder is Joe Wewak he was currently at a Sevilla but we gave them 31.3 million plus Lukic for a Wewak but he's currently 81 overall and I'm super excited to see how he's gonna develop at Fulham. Then we gave more than 12 million for Ryan Sessignon, but he's gonna be the backup of Robinson, so I'm not that excited about this signing. But now look at the left winger that we brought to the club, Igor Paishao from Feyenoord. We gave them 20 million plus Alex Iwobi, but I'm super excited to see how this boy is gonna perform at Fulham. He's currently 79 overall, has 86 pace and 74 shooting. He's 
only 24 years of age, still has a lot of potential to develop himself and I think with these three new signings we improve the team massively and hopefully by the end of the second season we're gonna finish above the 10th place. And we did have a fantastic second season, we finished 6 with 72 points, the same amount of points as Manchester City man, this is amazing performance, now we also considered only 50 goals, we're starting to build something special at full. Emil Smith Rowe is our superstar, he's currently 87 overall, he has some incredible stats and I do believe that by the end of this review, maybe he's gonna be one of the best players in the world. He's also our top goal scorer this season with 20 goals and 7 assists, but look at Armando Bro, he's now scored 17 goals, also Igor Paishao, 15 goals and 2 assists is a brilliant season. Also, Joe Wewell. What a performance from our boys, man. I'm honestly super impressed by them. And now in the third season, we received 80 million as a budget and we're definitely gonna sign a new right back and hopefully this will reduce the goals that we're gonna concede in the third season. And other than that, man, I think the starting 11 is looking super solid. Mengi is now 80 overall. Bassi is 83. Even Robinson is developing super well. He now has 90 pace. Our midfielders, they're really solid. Silas is developing also super super fast he's now 82 overall he's only 26 years of age and i do believe that he can maybe reach 88 89 by the end of this review and for 50 million we got tino livramento from newcastle he is a superb right back he's currently 82 overall has 87 pace and 78 defending he's only 22 years of age and i think with this addition we improved our defense massively and other than that i think we need a new midfielder someone that can rotate with McTominay and Joe Wewell. Currently, we do have King, who is 65 overall. He's only 18 years of age, but we need someone better if any of our big boys gets injured. But in the meantime, we receive an offer for Emil Smith Rowe worth 187 million from Arsenal. But of course, we're gonna reject it. Emil is not for sale. Only 20 million plus a Tete. We got Yunus Musa from AC Milan, and this is such a bargain, man. He's a sensation. A talent. He's currently 80 overall, has 88 pace and 85 at the dribbling. He's only 22 years of age, and I do believe he's gonna be the replacement of McTominay in the future. But for now, we're gonna stick with that team. So if you enjoy so far this review, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. But now let's see how are we gonna perform in the third season. And what the hell? We're first after 37 games, and our next one is versus Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium. And if we win that game, we're winning the Premier League man this is ridiculous this is our third season of this review we're also in the FA Cup final and there we're gonna face Aston Viewer wow what a third season sadly in the Europa League we got knocked out from Manchester City in the quarter finals but imagine if we also reach the final of Europa League and with this team led by Emil Smith Rowe everything is possible he's now 92 overall man this is the end of the third season season and he's already 92 overall this is crazy also Igor Paishao is now 88 overall Joe Wewell is even 88 overall our defense is looking stronger than ever like Mengi is 85 overall man he has 93 pace this is ridiculous what a third season Igor Paishao had man he scored 30 goals and assisted 10 at times Armando Brocha added 24 goals but look at the season of Joe Wewell 18 goals and 8 assist is sensational from this CDM role. Sadly we didn't start it the game versus Arsenal in the best possible way. We conceded very early but then after that Armando Broa managed to bring one go back for us and we equalized and I really thought that we have a control under this game but then Fabio Vieira scored an amazing goal and thanks to this goal we lost the game versus Arsenal and with that result we also lost the Premier League title but we were not ready to win it already in the third season so I'm a real bit good that we didn't win it but overall what a phenomenal third season and now if we finish it with a win versus Aston Villa in the FA Cup this is gonna be amazing so let's see what's gonna happen come on boys there you go we won our first trophy thanks to 3-1 win versus Aston Villa Paishao scored also Musa and of course who else Emil Smith Rowe 
Come on boys, we're ready next season to win major trophies. For the third season, we receive over 170 million and on top of that, Manchester United offered us over 270 million for Emil Smith Row. but of course, we're gonna reject that. But for this season, we're gonna change only one player and this is gonna be Armando Bro. He didn't perform that well so far in this review and I think he's gonna be a perfect player coming off the bench, but for this striker position if we want to win major trophies we need a superstar and what a better superstar than a serbian a guy who played with our legend mitrovic i'm speaking about dusan vlahovic another serbian and you know how good serbians are doing at fulham so that's why i thought why not bring dusan to fulham he's 88 overall we paid over 100 a million for him plus a moonies but now we're gonna use Armando Broja as our backup striker what transfer he's 88 overall he has a ridiculous stats and he's only 26 years of age man i'm super excited for this fourth season i think these boys can win finally the premier league so let's see what's gonna happen and maybe this is gonna be our season after 36 games we do have one point advantage to the second manchester city and our next game is gonna be versus them at our home stadium so if we defeat them we're winning finally the Premier League and this is gonna be incredible feeling. We also won our Champions League group but then in the round of a 16 Red Bull Leipzig of all team eliminated us 5-3 on aggregate but this was not our aim for the fourth season. Emil Smith row is 95 overall man like what a team we created we do have a super solid defense with Mengi and Basie and Bassi is now 90 overall. He has 94 pace and 90 defending, man. <laughs> what a center, man. The lowest rate player currently in our squad is a Bern Leno. But he is such a legend for this a club. And I'm thinking about sticking with him also for the next season. Go get Igor Paishao. He's again the top goal scorer with 30 goals and 8 assists. Also, Emil Smith Rowe, 12 goals, 12 assists is a brilliant season. Armando Bro actually scored more goals than Dusan Vlahovic. Vlahovic scored only 8 goals for a poor first season at Fulham but maybe he's gonna deliver us the Premier League so let's find out what's gonna happen there and versus Manchester City it was our time to shine Emil Smith Rowe scored a banger versus them early in the game and after that we took control over the game completely we didn't let Manchester City do anything until the end of the game and finally after 4 seasons we managed to win our first Premier League title what a moment for all Fulham fans. Of course, if you enjoyed so far this review, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. But the review is far away from over because we now aim for the Champions League. And in the fifth season, we receive more than 200 million. And I'm actually gonna sign only one player. And this is gonna be a winger that can come off the bench for Silas or Igor Pashiao. We don't need anyone else, man. We're gonna stick with Ber Leno because he's with us from the beginning. Since we do have some former Arsenal, players why just not add another one this is gonna be Reese and Nelson we paid his release a close which was around 40 million but he's 81 overall he has 87 pace and I think he's gonna come perfectly off the bench for us this season I have big expectation man this team should be the favorites to win the Champions League so let's see what's gonna happen in the fifth season and we're back to back Premier League champions in the fifth season this time we won it quite comfortable we do have five points advantage to the second Manchester City but look at us also in the FA Cup man we won it and we completed the double but let's see if we can complete the treble we won our Champions League a group thanks to a better goal difference than Atletico Madrid then in the round of a 16 we destroyed Sevilla 3-1 on aggregate and in the quarterfinals we had an easy draw in Wolfsburg and we beat them also 3-1 and now we're actually in the semis and we're going to the final we defeated ac milan 4-1 on aggregate and in the final we're gonna face manchester city with pep guardiola i really hope that they don't have haaland of course they still do have erlin haaland they also added frankie de jong and tiago Aumara. but i do believe that this team is much better than the team from manchester city emil smith row is now 96 overall he has a 99 pace and 82 shooting also 97 
7 at the Ravely. Look at Pai Shao, by the way. He's now 93 overall. Silas is even 90 overall. Even Scott McTominay, the gold man, he's 87 overall at the age of 31. I really hope that he's gonna leave the Champions League before Manchester United do that. So let's see how are we gonna perform versus Manchester City. Oh, Emil Smith roll here. Oh, oh, Emil Smith here. Destroy them. Nice save from Ederson, but the attack is not over yet. What are you doing, Igor Paishaw? Oh, Dusan Vlahovic to Silas. Come on, Silas. Let's go to Emil Smith row. Igor Paishaw, this is looking like a dangerous one. Nice to Emil Smith roll from there on. Emil Smith row. Another huge save from Ederson. Come on, Emil. Can you deliver the perfect ball here? Let's go. What a chance here we miss. Come on, boys. We're so far destroying Manchester City. Mengi versus Haaland. This is a bad one here. Oh, huge chance, but what a nice interception from, I think this was Tino Livramento, but their attack is not over yet. We need to stop them, guys. Nice Basia here, but come on. Come on, we need to get the ball, man. Ooh. Ooh, they got us here big time, but so far they cannot create anything. And the Scottish Gold, of course, made a huge tackle. Now maybe we can catch them on the contract attack here. Nice to Emil. Come on, Emil Smith, throw. Ooh, ooh, what a chance to see us. There you go, there you go. Everything started with Scott the Gold McTominay. And what a nice counter attack. And we strike just before the first half expired. Come on, boys. Now we need to defend our lead and we're gonna win the Champions League. Destino Livramento here. Let's go to Joe Weaver. What a chance, what a chance. Scott McTominay, Scott McTominay. Imagine if he scored that. He could have been the man of the match with this goal, but sadly he missed it. But come on, boys. If we score a second, it's gonna be game over for Manchester City. Ooh, Cabore right now. Ooh, huge chance for Manchester City. And they equalize thanks to this goal from Julian Alvarez. Crucial mistake in our back line and Burn Leno couldn't manage to save it. Everything starts from the beginning, man. We knew this is gonna be difficult versus Manchester City, but what a huge mistake here from our defenders. Come on, boys, we can play better than that. Oh, Emil Smith row here. Oh, oh, what a tackle, man. Come on, Rafferty, give him at least. It, I think this should have been a red. Like, he jumped to even tackle him. Like, look at it. What is that, man? Oh, Sivas right now. Nice to Emil Smith Rowe here. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. This is a huge chance for us. Emil. Emil Smith Rowe. Still. Still. Emil. Still. Emil. There you go. This time, the GOAT Scott McTominay strikes for us in the first extra time, but this doesn't matter. Now we need to defend 25 in game minutes. Come on, boys. We're one of the best defensive teams in the world. We can do that. And thanks to the GOAT of Scott McTominay. We did it. We won the Champions League versus Manchester City. It was difficult, but we managed to accomplish it. In five seasons, we made Fulham the best team in the world. I really hope you enjoyed. Of course, if so, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. But I'm out and I wish you a great day. Bye-bye.